let's have some additional examples. So we have example 11. We have to evaluate the limit of 1 minus cos 2x over sine 3x as x approaches 0. Okay, so first, let's try to evaluate. So we have 1 minus cos of 2 times 0 is 0. All over sine of 3 times 0 is 0. So what is 1 minus cos 0? So using your calculators, cos 0 is 1. So take note that when you're using your calculators, set your calculators to radian mode. Okay, radian mode. So we have 1 minus 1 over sine 0 is 0. Hence, this will give us 0 over 0. And again, this is a determinate form. Okay, this is not yet the answer. So, since this is a trigo function and or it uses this function is a combination of trigo functions and our x is approaching 0, likely we are going to use identities. Okay, and what identity we are going to use the theorems. So, let's try to move. Let's try to move this. So, how? So, if you try to observe our given, 1 minus cos, what's that? Cos 2x, okay, cos 2x, and sine 3x. It's already familiar, or at least you can observe the resemblance of the two theorems that we have. Okay, so... For our numerator, we're going to use the theorem for cosine. For our denominator, we're going to use the theorem for sine. Okay, so let's try to clear up the board. Okay, so to solve, we will divide the task. So we're going to solve for the numerator and the denominator. Okay. So, for our numerator, we have 1 minus cos of 2x. So, for us to use the theorem, we need... Okay, so we need a denominator of 2x. So, we're going to multiply 2x over 2x. Now, for our, uh, our denominator, we need... A denominator of 3x so for us to use the theorem we have we need to have sine 3x over 3x so we're going to multiply 3x over 3x okay so <clears throat> simplifying this we will have oh wait first this should be linear oh this x approach is zero so we will now have Okay, so we now have in our numerator 2x times 1 minus cos 2x, okay, all over 2x. Why in our denominator, okay, so all over, so this, this is the denominator we will have, uh, let's use red, oh, wait, wait, let's move, uh, we will have 3x sine 3x okay, 3x all over 3x okay so again how did we do it we simply multiply our numerators and denominators so we multiply here then put the denominator here then multiply 3x in here then just copy the denominator okay so, do not cancel out these two numbers. That's the reason why we multiply. Okay, do not cancel out. What we need to cancel is the theorem. So, where is the theorem? This is the theorem for our cosine, while this is the theorem for our sine. And what is the value of uh, 1 minus cos 2x over 2x? Okay, so this is equivalent to zero on the other hand 
sine 3x over 3x is this is 1. Okay, so let's rewrite. So this will give us limit uh, as x approaches 0. So you will have 2x times 0 in our numerator all over our denominator. We have 3x times 1. Okay. Observe that there is still something that we can cancel out. Okay, so we can cancel out x. And this will give us... Okay, let's try to move the board here. This will give us limit of 2 times 0 over 3 times zero, 3 times 1, sorry, as x approaches 0. And 2 times 0 is 0. All over 3 times 1 is 3, which will give us, which is 0 divided by 3. Any number divided by 3 except for 0 is... Of course, this is zero. Okay, so the solution is uh, takes a lot, but just the answer is just zero. So, uh, by the way, do not do not be discouraged if the answer is zero because zero is a very important number in mathematics. Okay, it might mean that the value is already at maximum or at minimum, or it's uh, actually something significant. Okay, so let's try to look at the solution, at the overall solution. Okay, so that's how you solve this. Example 12. So evaluate the limit of 2 minus 2 cos x over 4 tangent of x. Evaluating this function, so we will have 2 minus 2 cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 will give us 0 over tangent of 0 is, of course, it's 0. So it's 0 over 0. Again, this is indeterminate form. Okay, so we need to use our methods to determine the real answer of our function. So first, observe that the given as a tangent function. Okay? So if there is a tangent function or a cotangent function, likely we're going to apply trigonometric identities. And the identity for tan is simply sine over cosine. So we will rewrite this as 2 minus 2 cos x all over 4. Instead of tangent, we have sine x all over cos x. Okay. Now we can try to simplify further. So how? We can actually factor out 2. So we have 2 times 1 minus cos x all over 4 sine of x cos x. Okay, so take note that this can be simplified. So we have a 2 in the denominator. Okay, so let's try to move this. Uh, okay, so we have limit let's just I just put limit here so we know it's approaching zero x approaching zero okay so next is uh, try to transfer cos x so we have a denominator in the denominator okay so that's the case this will be transferred into the numerator okay so if the denominator of the denominator is actually in the numerator in the same way that the denominator of the numerator is actually in the denominator. Uh, okay? So, or in writing for you to understand, if you have A over B all over C over D, okay? So, this actually trans... Uh, this is transferred in the numerator 
D is transferred in the numerator, B is transferred in the denominator. In other words, this is just the same as A D over C B C. Okay? So, that's the principle. So, we are going to transfer. We will have equals now we have cosine of x times 1 minus cos x all over so what we mean the denominator is 2 sine x okay so now remember that in our theorem for 1 minus cos x observe that we have 1 minus cos x here so, for 1 minus cos x, we need a denominator of x. So, we're going to multiply x. Okay, so multiply x so times x over x. And this will give us cos of x. Oh, sorry, there's an x here. x times cos of x. So, cos of x. 1 minus cos x. all over <clears throat> 2 uh, x sine x okay take note this is 1 minus cos x over x which is 0 okay so we will have 0 in our solution so we have x cos x times 0 all over so what remains below is 2 sine of x okay so now are we done or not yet of course we're not yet done because we can still simplify further so we have here x over sine x so again going back to our principle here the denominator okay so we the denominator of our numerator is actually the denominator of the function here or the expression here so we can actually do the opposite so we can put the denominator in the denominator of the numerator okay so to understand just simply look at this x of over sine x x over sine x is actually 1 over sine of x over x okay so in other words this is 1 hence we have our 1 uh, cosine sorry let's try to cosine of x times 1 times 0 all over 2 and this will give us okay so of course, it's already 0 because we have 0 here. So, any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So, hence, the answer is 0. Okay. So, let's try to maximize and see the entire solution. Let's have the last example limit of e to the power of 2x minus 1 over x so as x approaches 0 so remember we have e to the power of t minus 1 over t and the limit t approaches 0 is actually 1 okay so our goal here is to have our exponent of our e and the denominator be equal Okay, so the same process. So we simply multiply this one by 2 over 2 because 2 is what it, uh, is the missing value here in the denominator. Okay, so this will give us so limit. Uh, we will have 2 times e to the power of 2x minus 1 all over 2x. Okay, and we know that our 
2 here, 2 e to the power of 2 x minus 1 over 2 x is just 1. Okay, so this is just 1. And so we'll have limit of 2 times 1, which will give us the answer of 2. So our limit, our answer here is 2. And that's it for lesson 4 indeterminate forms so in the next lesson lesson number five we're going to discuss continuity of a function see you